Chad. Here we go. Chad is going to try some of these golf. 14 SP authentic. Chad, 1 to 6 on the left, 7 to 12 on the right. Tell me where you like it. What's up, hi? How you doing, man? <laughs> Came here to watch some golf. One to six, seven to nine, right here. Forty-four. Yeah, Ramble. Just order it and I'll refund the shipping back. That's cool. Eric hadn't packaged it yet. Ramble's adding on. He's on your desk. What's up, Eli? I actually thought Phoenix looked pretty good, Bob. Bow and Bob. I meant we pulled some nice cards if you watch our case break. You got a fatty in there, Chad. I forgot to tell you what I heard what I heard this morning on my way into work on the radio. God, this thing it had me laughing so hard for like five minutes straight, like I was my eyes were watering. And I was just thinking of it right now and it's making me laugh again. But anyway, um, one of the political talk show radio things was on and um, the Hey, how's it going? What's up, bud? Just looking at cards? Yes, sir. Okay. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> I start thinking about it and it makes me laugh. Oh, it's so funny. Alright. You guys are good? You just gonna look at cards? Okay. If you do get them out of one box, can you keep them separated? Oh, yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Tiger, David Duvall, Tim Clark. <laughs> you like that story, Bob? I'll tell it here in a second. God, it was so funny. You got a 99, Craig Stadler. Yeah, cards are stuck, Chad. Guess they've been in the packs too long. Your first fatty is Eduardo Molinari, number two hundred shirt autograph. Austin Ernst, six ninety-nine. You want to go again, Chad? I'm assuming. We got one number card, one fat relic autograph, and two thin autographs on that one, Chad. We have one to six, seven to eleven now. Right four down. One, two, three, four. All right, I'll tell it. I'll finish the story now. So anyway, I'm riding into work, right? 
and I, uh, I have, I forget, I listen to either ESPN talk radio, I always listen to talk radio, I don't really listen to music a lot, unless I'm at the house, but in the car I listen to talk radio, which is either on ESPN, talk radio, or, which is usually Stu Gotts, or Mike and Mike, or something like that, or, if, since the political race was going on, I've sometimes been flipping over to the pol political station, just to see what they're saying about it and everything, anyway, this guy was like, this guy was like, uh, all the, since President Trump has been president elect, all the ki all the students at like Yale and Harvard, they're Harvard and stuff, they're coming into class crying. They can't do their classes now. The teachers had to cancel classes and turn all the classes into like therapy groups and stuff like this. He's like, so now when the teachers come in for class to try to teach class at these colleges, instead of like bringing in you know notes and preparation, they have to bring in um, crayons, play-doh, coloring books. Oh, I shouldn't laugh at that. You're talking about Yale students. So instead of bringing in a teaching class to, to comfort these kids, they have to bring in crayons, Play-Doh, and coloring books. Because <laughs> they're so upset. God, I was laughing. when it, The way he said it, the story was so much better. But God, I was laughing. You just have to imagine. You got these kids that probably graduated cum laude, and they're so upset over the election. They're, the teachers are bringing them in Play-Doh. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. I was laughing my ass off on the way in the day when I heard it. I think he said they're turning them into therapy classes. Oh, they're bringing in comfort dogs, too. I think one of them boys was from Arkansas. You get it. I didn't realize everybody was so upset over it, though. I know some people are in the streets upset about it. I didn't realize kids at schools and stuff are crying over it and everything else. You got another fatty in here, Chet. I think was one. Oh, never mind. They're just stuck together. wings that'll do the trick oh that's a green almost blew by it number 88 of 99 David Duvall <laughs> teachers coming in with <laughs> with play-doh and crayons into an Ivy League school how funny oh you did get a fatty I shouldn't laugh at that. That's rude. All right, here we go. Peter Uline. Dang, we just got Austin Ernst regular autograph. Now we get Austin Ernst relic autograph. All right. No, no case it yet there, old Chad. Let me know which one you want now. I love the smell of Play-Doh. I haven't smelled it since, I don't know, in 15 years at least. I don't remember the last time I had a jar of Play-Doh. I love the smell of it. Though. I used to want to eat it when I was a kid because it smelled so good. So, of course, I tried it, and it's really salty and nasty tasting. I didn't swallow it. I put it in my mouth, and I immediately spit it out. But I used to love the smell of Play-Doh when I was a kid. This side, number five. 71. That's a good year. I think this is the one, Chad. 71 is a good year.
brought in coloring books. <laughs> Here we go, man. Uh, round three. I don't think there was a fatty in this one. Let's see what we get here. Jay <laughs> Haas. Jay Haas, number one. Eyes are watering out. Here we go. Luke Guthrie. And it's a geography of Corey Pavin. That's the gold version, number to 50. Okay. Um, Chad, where do you want it now, man? Tell me where you like it. <laughs> like it. <laughs> oh. Corey Pavin's a good golfer, yeah. He was head of the uh, Ryder Cup one year. Number two. 69. <laughs> Those kids were so upset at Yale. The teachers brought in coloring books <laughs> and Play Doh. <laughs> so stupid, but if you just picture it, that's a perfect slapstick skit. Got another fatty. That's like a naked gun skit to me. I don't know. It's funny. I love that kind of movie. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm not kidding. I'm away and I cannot stop laughing for like five straight minutes. I was, I was in tears. It, the guy told the story so much better, though. It was funny the way he said it. Oh, it was funny. <laughs> All right. Round, what number are we on here, Chad? Number four. One, I don't believe any are sticking. They're all nice and smooth. Thong Chai Jai D. It's a good looking autograph. Look like you use a felt pen. Oh, 
spoke too soon. These are sticking. I think we got it. Braden, Brandon, sorry, Brandon Grace, six ninety nine. And authentic moment, dual autograph, Paula Creamer, Christy Kerr. I believe it, Jacob. I believe it. I believe that's true. Just picture it, though. It's funny. I do believe it. All right. Well, there's four down, Chad. I don't believe that dual autograph would be considered a case hit. It's a nice card, though. Paula Kramer, Christy Card, dual on card. Mm. Yeah, it's a reminder. I took the black, black paint pen so I can remind myself I got to check on something when I get home. Right side, four down, so bottom one. Bottom right. Here, we'll make it easy. I'll stack them now. If you go again, it'll be one on top, seven on bottom. One to seven. Stick them right on that floor. Yeah. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up? How you doing? How's it going? Good, man. Good? All right. Good. Just won 500 on a scratch off, so I figured. Really? You're the beneficiary. <laughs> How much was the buy in? $10. $10 card. What, like a 50 times? Yeah. Is that what the winner was, or was it, that it, was it just you scratch a number and you said 500 underneath? No, I, yeah, I just scratched it. It was number 28, and it was $500. Oh, okay. I started with a pot, uh, four five $5 cards, one $55, and bought two $10 cards, and then one 500 on the $10 card. And they cashed it at the store? No, you got to go to the grocery store. Oh, uh, gotcha. Oh, they, Congratulations. I went on 1000 once. You got to actually go to Raleigh. Anything over a, th a thousand or so, you gotta go to Raleigh to get paid. Yeah, I heard that. Apparently, they did move an office down here, though. Oh, did they? I heard they did. Okay. I never went, so I don't have to worry about it. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but apparently, they did move one in Wilmington. That if it's under a certain amount, but it's more than a thousand, you can get paid here. Oh. Okay. But if it's over like twenty-five thousand or something like that, you gotta go to Raleigh gotcha. and confirm it. All right, here we go. Round number five. That's, that's what I was looking for. That just came in, right? Yeah. I saw that. I was looking online and put it on these states. Russell Henley, number to 99 green. Oh, really? Brandon Steele, 299. How come, Chad, we can never find a tiger, Rory, or any of that in the beginning? <laughs> Why is that? You ever notice that? We always have to go nine boxes deep before we find it. Jack. Robert Garrigus. Oh, did he? You can ask him at Swifty. Cheyenne, we got Woods autograph. That's actually, those are actually good looking cards, these rookie geographies. Um, but that's Cheyenne. Base. 
One to seven. Third. Uh-oh. Might be a Jordan in here. Box number 23. Oh, prime cuts is over here. Yeah, it's not. It's not over there. It's over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been 2008 or nine. I think. Yeah, they brought it back. Got a lot of cut autographs in it, I guess. Got a fatty. Which product? The plastic. How much were they? Sixty-one. Jeez. Giving them away now. I just got a new, I base it on whatever they charge me when I get a new case in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, but I guess it was a lot less. I wonder why with such a good crop of rookies. Only thing I can think is um, there's still a lot of it out there, and they're trying to unload it. Once it gets, once it, once it, once they start running out of it, they'll bring it right back up. You know what I mean? Yeah. They try to make it at a price where everybody buys it, buy it up, and then they'll bring it back up. All right, Chad, this is the halfway point. It's box number six from this one. Kevin Streelman. Tiger. Johnny Miller did 99. I got the Mary's Thomas number seven. Um, Jack Ham number 25. DJ Lee. Six nine. Or sorry, DH Lee. Six ninety nine. Authentic moments. Louis Oosthuizen. Louis Oosthuizen. One to six. That was the halfway point, Chad. Fifth one.
Uh, Kevin Streelman, nine, 99 green. Russell Henley. Sign of the Times. Ted Potter, six ninety nine. Oh, you got it, man. Took you seven boxes, but there it is. We pulled like ten of these, believe it or not. Ten of the two ninety nine. Rory McElroy, authentic rookie. That's the case set, probably. Typically, you get a Roy or a Tiger or a Michelle Wee or somebody like that. Or a Jordan or a LeBron. Is that it, Chad, or are you going to go again? Chad, you're done, Chad? Okay. So it was seven, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, seven. Um, six ninety nine. Ted Potter, Russell Henley, six ninety nine. D H Lee, Kevin Streelman, twenty of fifty. Cheyenne Woods, Blue Geography, Robert Garrigus, two ninety nine. Brendan Steele, Brandon Gra Grace, six ninety nine. Thong Chai Jai D, Corey Pavin, number to fifty. Luke Guthrie, six ninety nine. Jay Haas, Peter Uline, Hale Irwin. Austin Ernst, Tim Clark, Rory McElroy, 299 rookie. Your fat autographs were Louis Oosthuizen, Paula Kramer, Christy Kerr, Duel. Relic autograph, 100, Austin Ernst, and Eduardo Molinari. See you, buddy. Take care, man. We'll see you later. Eduardo Molinari. And then you got some uh, 99 greens. And that's it. Swifty. Thanks again, man.